here's some bad news. I think there's something wrong with the election systems. The 2016 election was hacked. I believe vote counts were changed. Russia targeted voting systems in all 50 states. Chances are, if you're an elections official anywhere in the U.S., you've heard of Brent Turner. It is painfully obvious why the sanctity and security of the vote counting process is the paramount civil rights issue of our time. In 2017, the DEFCON Security Conference tested current voting machines, broke into all of them actually, and said it was a national security threat. Experts say one way to make sure those systems cannot be hacked in the future is to make the computer code that runs them open source, available to the public, for all to inspect. Had we all listened to Brent Turner years ago, we probably would be in a better place in Washington, D.C. right now as we speak. The fact is, you don't know how they count the votes because the software is a corporate secret. I don't think that most citizens know that most voting software is controlled by a for-profit entity. If they did, it should horrify them that players who have skin in the game actually own the software that's running the election. It's a huge scandal. How do you monetize something that's an inalienable right for people? That's sickening to me. Both political parties receive money from Microsoft. Everybody's getting greased. This should be something that is owned by the people, seen by the people, accountable to the people, and without any secrets involved. If you believe in democracy, you should be pushing as hard as you can for open source election systems. It's the guarantee that your vote will be counted as cast. If we give up on that, we give up on the nature of our constitution and the nature of our state. And uh, that's just as horrible an idea as uh, I can think of. You have to fight right now. You can't wait and think and say what if. Do something, get up and act. You have a duty to the children, you have a duty to the world, and you have a duty to yourself. Yo, we'll be all up on the front lines. We're keeping it real all the time. And who the one that's driving all the change?